time. Good afternoon, judges. I am Jonathan from the LA Penang. Personally, this is my fourth year in a specialty coffee scene. After two long and challenging years, it is my honor to finally to share the stage with you today. Undeterred by the pandemic, my team and I has took an opportunity to embark on a self-exploration journey, constantly looking out for innovative coffees and unconventional brewing methods. Throughout this journey, it has led us to discover this unique coffee that I'm going to present to you today. Now, it was during a cupping session a few months ago when, when we first discovered this interesting geisha from the Elida Estate, Panama. It was showcasing all the classy beauties of this delicate geisha with its white floral aroma and a silky mouthfeel. On top of that, what really caught our attention was the intense sweetness and the structured bodies of this coffee. Tracing back to its roots, the processing. This coffee is processed with anaerobic slow drying fermentation, which happens to be a process of self exploration that raises the potential of the coffee on its own. First, the coffee cherry will dip out, and this coffee pulse was soaked in the fresh water for 72 hours, almost like brewing a cascara tea. This cascara tea was then used to soak the coffee cherry with its mucilage intact in an anaerobic environment for 96 hours. Subsequently, the drying process was managed under lower temperature to reduce the rate of fermentation and esterification. Now, this enabled the coffee cherry itself to retain much higher natural sugar content, adding layers of sweetness and body to this coffee. Now, let's move on to brewing. Throughout multiple experiments, my team and I have realized the best way to present this coffee is to brew with a Kato M1 dripper, the design in Taiwan. Now, this innovative dripper has an interesting design. With two different lengths of vertical ribs, in which the longer ribs promotes a faster flow rate to enable a cleaner cup. And the shorter ribs contribute for around the body. Additionally, I chose a denser filter paper to increase my attraction rate and improve the structure body of this coffee. Coffee dosage for today will be 18 grams with a brewing ratio of 1 to 17. Particle size for today will be 750 microns with a water hardness of 100 ppm at 93 degrees Celsius. My first pour was intentionally longer than usual to achieve a higher attraction rate by the help of the long ribs. Dear judges, you shall notice the wet coffee bed is accumulating to the wall of the dripper instead of cogging up in the middle. This promotes an even attraction to my coffee. For our remaining pause, the water temperature will be slightly lower at 88 degrees Celsius. At here, I'm aiming for a milder agitation to achieve a better balance between the acidity and sweetness.
now we will end our brew with the least brewing volume to achieve a cleaner cup. We also realize this overall combination allows us to extract a vibrant acidity, a natural sweetness and a rounder body. Dear judges, please flip over the information card in front of you as we go through the flavour description together. When it's hot, there will be an aroma of mango, jasmine, honey, and coffee blossom. For flavours, you will find notes of pineapple, mango, honey, and lychee, ending it with osmentous tea aftertaste. This coffee has a juicy and silky body when it's hot. The acidity, acidity level is medium, sweet and vibrant, like pineapple juice. This coffee opens up itself when it cools down. The colours turn darker. Hitting the front part of your tongue, you will find the sweetness of sweet plums, mandarin orange, and dry apricot. The aftertaste is sweet and lingering. It kind of reminds me of molasses. The acidity is slightly more lively and bright, like passion fruits. This coffee has a black tea like and uh, black tea left aftertaste when this cools down. Correction, it's a black tea like body. Dear judges, now I would like to invite you to assess the aroma directly from the serve. And be careful, it is hot. Please enjoy. Thank you. For evaluation, please evaluate my coffee by slurping jelly two times from the cup. And be careful, it is soft. Your coffee, please enjoy. Your coffee, please enjoy. Your coffee, please enjoy. Dear judges, it is my honour to share this exciting coffee with you today. As a coffee professional, I believe we shall always appreciate the importance of self-exploration, while not just pushing the boundaries of ourselves, as well as coffee making. Dear judges, I hope you enjoy this coffee when it cools down at the backstage. Thank you for your time. Time. Yeah.